Well, growing up, it was until my early teenage years I was able to really experience failure during the day. That day occurred when my parents were there for me from experiencing such devastation. My mother was one of those moms that loved doing everything for, for her kids, from, from helping make our lunch, making our lunches every morning, to doing our laundry, to even helping us write some papers for our classes. And the list goes on. She was one of that moms that really loved and cared for her kids, wanted, wanted them to be successful in everything they did, rather than have them experience failure for themselves. This uh, led to me to a study by the University of, Ari University of Arizona they talk about how adults that tend to be overprotective or overparented in a way have a stronger sense of had a stronger sense of entitlement and a harder time overcoming challenges in their life. Now in the end, I turned out fine as an adult, as you can see. But this actually this actually wanted me to relate it back to all of you guys who are college students who are not parents yet, probably, but either have siblings that are children or really are an influence of children. In many ways, you can start by allowing a child to fail and learn from their failures. This actually leads me to what I want to talk about today, is that the value of letting a child learn to fail. And that there are problems that can arise in children when the authority figures in their life do not allow them to fail or learn from their failures. And also that there are solutions that can take in place for these children's sakes when the authority figures in their life can see the importance of failure in their experiences. And lastly, as authority figures, we can take action in allowing that allowing the that child in our life to learn to learn from their learn the realities and different perspectives of failure. This now leads me to what I first want to talk about is that the what the that are the problems that can occur um, in a child when the authority figures don't allow them to fail or learn from their failures. Taking my notes according to the Leahy article of why parents need to let their children fail which is that ch children will feel a relentless pressure to excel. And then when they do fail, they'll have, they'll have a harder time making that risk of failing again. Now that children will, children will lack the emotional resources to, from without those failures and setbacks in their life. And now there is that children tend to be, over, children that tend to be overparented, overprotected in a way, have, tend to have a sense of, uh, grow up in a sense of helplessness and powerless in a way to not be able to experience those experiences of failure in their life. And lastly, um, children fail to take responsibility and learn to take, uh, learn from the natural, learn to learn from the natural consequences of their actions. Now, understanding all these different, the different problems that arise in children, there are also solutions for the children, for the children's sake, when the authority figures in their life can see the importance of failure in their experiences. Taking my notes from the Desmond articles of how to raise a successful kid, um, let them fail, it mentions how letting a child fail allows them to have the experience, to, uh, the experience to learn to cope. Where in this, it talks about how it's hard as an authority figure to see your child stuck with that temporary discomfort. But in the end, Desmarais talks about how it is that it's that aspect that that leads them to the necessary skills of learning how to survive in the real world, where someone's not there to hold their hand the whole time. And another is that hardship can build character, where Children that tend to uh, grow up in that more, what do you say, that more boundary, uh, grow up in that bubble sense of being very protected in their childhood. Um, they're, they're preventing them from experiencing real life experiences and being able to be more, be more genuine with people. And lastly, the later in life that a child learns to fail, uh, the longer the fall and harder the drop from them experiencing that more reality of failure in their life. Um, so this now brings me that after knowing these different problems and solutions that can occur, uh, we can now take action as authority figures and through the challenges and the, the challenges and the, uh, the challenge I'm going to give you today of allowing your child to learn to fail. Taking my notes from the Beth Sparky article of how to help a kid learn to fail, this week I challenge you to take a big step back and allow and allow that child in your life to experience a new activity and allow them to fail in that aspect where they're able to learn from their experiences while keeping in mind the different solutions that can take place as well. And lastly, um, I challenge you this week to be able to 
um, make a model of your is to make a model of your of yourself as an adult and how you cope with different experiences and um, deal through disappointments and failures in your life. Where according to the Doctor Minster, Doctor Minster in this same article, which how children are not always prone to the reality that failures and mishaps happen in life. So be, by being able to um, by being able to express that to them, that is doing you a favor. So I like to end that failure is a valuable lesson to learn and become comfortable with as a child. This can happen when we recognize as as authority figures, we can recognize that there are problems that can occur in children when the authority figures in their life do not allow them to experience failure and learn from their failures. That there are also solutions that can be taken place when uh, authority figures can recognize the importance of failure in that child's experience. And lastly, as authority, as authority figures, we can take action and be able to help the child learn the different realities and perspectives of that fail of the failures they experience in their life. For these actions can allow us to see the benefits in helping children to and I, um, to see the benefits in their case. I appreciate every aspect of how my parents raised me and taught me who to become. They were really a big influence in my life. But as growing up, it would have benefited me to not be so overprotected as a child, to be able to learn from my failures earlier on in my life years later. And thank you.